Yeah, I mean, it's, this is a first run through, so you know, yeah. now's the time to get feedback and uh, make, make changes. Uh, yeah, research is ongoing, it never stops. Yeah. Uh, it's incredibly uh, interesting. Here's a beach craft, yeah. this is a framed beach craft. Looks like the, the prop took a hit too. This is a, a captured uh, Italian Mac, Mackie yeah. uh, fighter. Yeah. Uh, this, I'm not sure, it's an Avro Oxford, I think. They used to use an Anson for training. This is the aerodrome. Um, yeah. This is his friend Ray, who was a flyer, uh, flying boots, Ray in Germany. Here's Ray in his Mustang. Uh, and on the back of that, it's like a sort of a postcard thing. Holland 1945 from Jack. All the best from your old pal Ray. <laughs> I found that in the, in the Red Oxo box. <laughs> Here's his uh, <clears throat> service, and this is its release. It is three years um, in the in the Mediterranean. It's the F42 to 45. He got the 39 to 45 star, Italy star, France and Germany star, defense medal, war medal, five foot eleven. Uh, yeah, 47, from uh, 19, 19th of November 42 to 26 February 1947. A capable tradesman, not bad, I guess. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <what's that? laughs> Signed off. <clears throat> and here's his medals, which, um, which I, I, many years ago, put them into a, made a shadow box out of a frame. And uh, they proudly sit on my living room wall and have been there for many years. <laughs> and, uh, <coughs> got time for a short movie. There's a bit of rare footage I found on YouTube of 154 Squadron in Corsica. So Dad was here somewhere. I didn't see him in the picture, but he's the plane he was working on. I uh, almost fell over when I saw this. Um, you see, like, good, good. There you go. Um, well, they kept moving to where the action was. Yeah, yeah, this is the Squad 154 in Corsica. It's, it's a Spitfire Mark 9. It's that HTV right. we saw. Right. Uh, it's the kind of thing Dad will be doing, you know. <laughs> it's like watching this and. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, working on that. It's obviously hot. Oh, yeah. I think there's still a lot of desert in Corsica. I bet he's in there somewhere. It's kind of amazing it's cold, too. Yeah, that's extraordinary. Look how hot it was. He said, on his parachute, you know, so I carried that thing. Nice and cozy. Yeah. And a mirror on the top there. Yeah. That's good, good film. Yeah, yeah. yeah. color too. I mean, it was yeah. color yeah. movies back then. Right on the way. Yeah, sure that's At least the cool. sit, yeah, sit on the wing, because you yeah. couldn't see past the nose on a Spitfire. So they had to uh, go back and forth when they taxied, so they'd have somebody guide them. Yep. So they used to sit on the wing, or they'd have to jump on the tail plane sometimes when they came in. These weren't home movies. I don't know who did this, but this was not home movie stock at that point. No, no so way the, the so amateur could have made that. Yeah. Yeah. That, was, that was, those were professional photographers, whatever, whatever group was doing there, it. There is another one of an American base, which is the same, it's like this. Yeah. Um, it's probably an old 8 millimeter. Well, but it's some public affairs yeah, office. Yeah, that could be 35, be. too. Yeah. yeah, I doubt it was 35. That'd be... Well, that's, that's not a month then. 16 is fine, yeah. They didn't use that. Well, it works. It's all bouncing around here. Look at this one. <laughs> Whoa. Free room. <laughs> they can't always get the can canopies open when they took off. Uh, I see why they need it. In case they crash and need to get out. And then I've got uh, one other short, uh, short one here. Uh, that I just this is something. Uh, what I've been doing, I, I've watched hundreds of these. Um, let's see if we get on. Oh, this is the. I've watched hundreds of these. This is how my flying improves. Is I try to emulate these, and even though this one's a little blurry, this is a uh, Spitfire on air show now. But you can see the kind of maneuvers they're doing with the warbirds. <clears throat> the kind of things I copy. He's doing a show pass. He goes into uh, what we call a half cubanate or thereabouts. I've noticed none of these uh, are perfect.
catastrophic climate type things. They're, they fly like one like all birds, I mean, they, you know, they're like, power. Yeah, and then he does the other half to make it a full Cuban ape. And most of these guys flew because they had a couple of ME109s on their tail or they were chasing someone in a bubble wolf or something, you know. Yeah. So these are the things, I watch this and I say, okay, well there's a Cuban 8, that's pretty legit. Yep, I can get my Spitfire to do that. <laughs> and that's nice. He turned left, showing the canopy as he comes.